Do you want to calculate the number of years since the date of birth? This can easily be done in Excel and not only the years, we can also calculate the months. In a minute, I will show you multiple techniques to calculate the age in years, month, days and if you want a whole number or you want in fraction, there are so many ways to do it. Hey guys, this is Vinay from Excel Champ. I try to create videos, tips, tricks and tutorials for you so that you can become a champ in Excel. Let's get started. So what we want to calculate is the age in years, something like this. Here you can see the age is 55 from 1966 till today. The six months and nine days have elapsed. And if you'd like to see how much is the exact age that's 55.56 and how I've managed to combine all this in a single cell I'd like to show you. Let's get started. Now guys uh, before we start I want to highlight to you that the date of birth that you are using it should be a date field so you can select it and make sure the formatting is not general or text but it should be short date or any kind of date. If you don't like these dates, you can also choose more number formats and then go to date here. And here uh, you can choose a date where the month is clearly visible. I like this kind of date. So if you come across a date like 5-6-2020, sometimes we don't know. Is it the 5th of June? Is it the 6th of May? That means is the format DDMMYY or MMDDYY. That means is the format DDMMYY or MMDDYY. So I prefer to take this type of date format and now there's no confusion. The date is here and the month is a three character uh, name that is easy to recognize. So this is important and then we write the number of years. So the formula is extremely simple. We begin by writing equal to date diff open bracket. We pick the date of birth comma and what better way to write today's date than to just write today and open close. Very important. This is a empty function followed by the letter Y. Y will tell us that we only want the years. That's all. We can press enter and we can see everybody's years have been calculated. So this is the formula. Date difference from the date of birth till today in years. Similarly, we can calculate the months equal to date diff open and again, we choose the date of birth, comma, today, open, close brackets, comma. This time we need the months. So you choose M only. Once we press enter, we see 666 months have elapsed from this date till the today's date. But you may not want this. You only want how many months after the 55 years. In this case, we modify the formula from only M to YM. This means it is only the months after the completed years. By doing this, we can see that only six months have elapsed after 55 years. Now we can easily copy this down. And the same technique will be used to calculate the number of days elapsed after the completed months equal to date diff date of birth comma today open close comma and now we only need the days that's it so uh, this will tell you 20,000 days have passed from the date of birth but of course we don't want this so you change this to MD, that means how many days after the month. By doing this, we get the answer 
nine days now we can simply copy this down and we have uh, the age as 55 years six months and nine days exactly till today so you found it pretty easy and let me now show you so to recap for exact days we use the date of birth today and only y to calculate the months after the years we use y m and to calculate only the days after the month we use m d in the date diff function let me also show you some other ways to achieve this so here i want to calculate the exact age and uh, in years or in uh, even if it is in fraction so what i can do is i can take today's date and subtract the date of birth so as you can see this is a date minus date comparison and this will give us a number like 20,279 days of course if you don't want the days we can then take this whole 20,000 days put it around the bracket so that you can see that the calculation is done first and then we divide it by 365 days that we have in each year so uh, by doing this you will get an answer like 55.56 and now if you pull this down or double click you can see that we have calculated the age in terms of years and the fraction of the years from uh, 0 to 100. So this is a pretty nice accurate age but sometimes you only need the uh, combination that means you want to see 55 years and 6 months. So finally I'll show you how to do this. Let me make some space here for you. so that we can write a formula here so the formula will be a combination of the year and the month we start with equal to 55 which is the years and we combine it with years and 6 and months that's all so now you see the answer comes out pretty nice 55 years and 6 months 44 years and 3 months like that if you want to put a comma or any other separator you can also do that let's put a and character within that text so the answer is 55 years and 6 months now i'll copy this down and there you have it simple functions to help you calculate the age in years months days exactly and even a text combination i hope you like the video do uh, subscribe to our channel and please like this also let me know which of these functions will be most helpful for you write it in the comments and tell me how you plan to use this for more useful videos do visit our website www.excelchamp.net Thank you guys, all the best.